which is pleasure, basically. The whole glamour industry is based yeah. on that. On that. On that. All the cinema, mm -hmm. you know, the whole thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, can the mind, again we must come back to the point, can the mind understand the nature of pleasure and its relationship to love, can a mind that pursuing pleasure, ambitious mind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a competitive mind, a mind that says, I must get something out of life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I must reward myself and others, I must compete, can such a mind love? It can love sexually, but is love of sex is that the only thing? So, and why have we made sex such an enormous affair? Volumes are written on it. Unless really one goes into this very, very deeply, I, the other thing is not possible even to understand. We can talk endlessly about what love is, what love is not, theoretically. But if we use the word love as a mirror <laughs> to see what is happening inwardly, and I inevitably must ask the question whether it's pleasure in its multiple forms. Can a man who is top executive got to that position through drive, through aggression, through deception, through ruthlessness, can he know what love is? I and can the, can the priest who talks everlasting love of God, he's got, he's ambitious to become a bishop, archbishop or whatever his, his ambitions or sit next to Jesus. Who will sit on the right hand? Right, right hand. Mm. So, can that priest who talks about to know what love means? No, uh, he <laughs> he thinks he can, with reference to something called a higher love, oh, no, no, which is based on a denial of a lower one. Yeah, I mean that's so just that's just words. In that conflict, there can be no love. So, then our, our whole social, moral structure is immoral. Oh yes, I... I'm I mean, so, I mean, this is a thing that is appalling. And nobody wants to change that. On the contrary, they say, yes, let's carry on. Put on a lot of coating on it, different colours, more pleasant, and let's carry on. So, I mean, if a man is really concerned to come upon this thing called love, he must negate this whole thing, which means he must understand the place of pleasure, whether intellectual pleasure, acquisition of knowledge as pleasure, acquisition of a position as power, you follow? Yes. The whole thing. And how, am, how is a mind that has been trained, conditioned, sustained in this rotten uh, social conditioning, how can, that, how can it free itself before it talks about love? It must first free itself from Otherwise, your talk of love, that's it just another word, just, just no meaning. We do seem, in Western culture particularly, to be very sex-bound. On the one hand, we're threatened with unhappiness if we don't succeed sexually. Exactly. Yes, that's right. Yet, on the other hand, uh, the whole history of clinical psychology 
focuses precisely on the pathology of sexuality of course. as somehow able in itself as to a study to free us. Yeah. Uh, the, the interrelationship between those two activities, the, the desire to succeed on the one hand and the necessity to, to study what's the matter with the drive on the other, brings about a paralysis. So, you see, this thing, sex, has become, I don't know, such enormous importance right through the world now. Hmm? In Asia, they cover it up. Hmm? They don't talk about it. If you talk about sex, it's something wrong. Here you talk endlessly about it. But there, it, you don't, there are certain things you don't talk about. You talk about it in the bedroom. Or perhaps not even in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But you never... I mean, it's, it's not done. And when I talk in India, I bring it out. <laughs> They're a little bit shocked because a religious man is not supposed to deal with all that kind of stuff. He's supposed to be beyond... Be that. No, <laughs> he is supposed to be, but he doesn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Now, that's one of the things, sir. Huh? Why has sex become so important? You see, love is, after all, a sense of total absence of the me. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Total absence of the me. My ego, my ambitions, my greed, my am all that, which is me. Total negation of all that. Negation, not brutal denial or surgical operation, but the understanding of all that. When the me is not, the other is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's so simple. You know, so the Christian sign, the cross, I was told, is a very, very ancient symbol, previous to Christian acceptance of that symbol. Yes. It meant wipe out the I. Hmm, I had never heard of that. Wipe out. Wipe out the I, the me. The I, wipe it out. <laughs> you understand, sir? Yes, uh, in a non-canonical statement of Jesus, uh, it, it's written that he remarked that unless you make your up, down, and your down, up, your right, left, left, right, the complete, total turning of something upside down that one has been accustomed to do, a 180 degree turn, uh, then one doesn't come to the kingdom of heaven, which is, which of course in his language is not over here to be expected. He, he said precisely it doesn't come by observation. It's not here. It's not there. It's, it's within one. Or in the Greek it doesn't mean in as a locus, a locus. but it's, 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 it's a presence. It's a presence, yes. yes. When we are inquiring into this question of love, we must inquire into pleasure. Pleasure in all its varieties. Mm -hmm. And its relationship to love, enjoyment to love, real joy, this thing which is never, which can never be invited. Mm -hmm. And it's relation to love. So we better begin with pleasure. Mm -hmm. That is, the world has made sex into an immense thing. Mm -hmm. And the priests, right through the world, have denied it. Yes. They won't look at a woman, though they are burning inside with lust and all kinds of things, they, they shut their eyes. And they say, only a man who is a celibate can go to God. Think of the absurdity of such a statement. So anybody who has sex is damned forever. You then, then you have to invent some story as to how it was we so-called fell into it. I fell into it or um, Virgin Mary, you follow the yes, whole idea? the whole 